In this video, we're going to take a look at solving applications with percents using those proportions in order to solve them. If we're setting up our proportion is over of equals percent over 100, we need to make sure we know what part of the application is the of and what part of the application is the is. When we're solving an application, how we're going to remember what part is what is we're going to think about the of representing all of the stuff, all of it. If it's representing the whole, that's the of part of our proportion. The is, then, is the part that is interesting to the problem. For example, if we're looking for the percent of children that are born with a certain defect or something, the part that is interesting to that stack is the number that have the defect. It is what the percent is interested in. That is the part in the application. So, for example, if we knew that among male smokers, the lifetime risk of developing lung cancer was 17.2 percent, and the Washington State Board of Health said in 2011 the state had 760,000 smokers, how many would we expect to get lung cancer in their lifetime? The big thing we need to look at is that 760,000 and try and decide, does that represent all of them or just the part that we're interested in with the percent? 760 represents all of the smokers, so 760 is the of of our proportion, all of the smokers. So if we set up our proportion is over of equals percent over 100, we don't know the is or the number that are going to get lung cancer, but we do know the of all of the smokers are 760,000 equals the percent. The percent we're given is 17.2 percent of them over 100. And we now have a proportion that we can use to answer this question. Multiplying the diagonal, we get 100x equals 760,000 times 17.2 is 13072 with three zeros after it, 13 million. And then dividing both sides by the 100 tells us that x is equal to 130720 or 130,720 of Washington smokers will develop lung cancer in their lifetime. Let's try another example. In this problem, we find out that in 2010, women made up 58 percent of Big Bend Community College's students. If we know there were 1,688 women enrolled, how many students are in the total? We need to decide this 1688, does that represent all of Big Bend's students or only part of them? It's part of them, it's just the women. It's the part that is interesting to the statistic. The women are 58 percent, that is the interesting part. So when we set up our proportion, is over of equals percent over 100, our is, we're going to use the 1688 women over of, we don't know how many total, we don't know what all of the students are, equals percent, 58 percent, over 100. And we now have a proportion we can quickly solve to answer the question. Multiplying the diagonal, we get 1688 with two zeros after it, or 168,800 equals 58x. And finally, to get the x alone, we divide both sides by 58. And when we do that on our calculator, we get 2,910.3. Probably don't have a point three of a student, so we probably should round that to the nearest whole student. There's probably about 2,910 students at Big Bend Community College in 2010. We set up these proportions by remembering of represents all of the data, is is the part that is interesting, and the proportion is over of equals percent over 100 allows us to answer the question.